All right, all right. I am alone on the trap line today. Donnie is heading downstate for a week or so. I got the I'm loaded up, as you can see. Pretty loaded up. This is the last of the boxes to get out. I think I have like 24 or more in here. We got a little late break to the day today from uh, turning those mart and getting Donnie on the road and everything. So I got a big day ahead of me to try to get these out. And uh, I'm gonna be driving by some traps that we set a day and a half ago. So I guess I'll check those. It, I hate to think there's a piece of fur sitting in them or we had a miss or, or something like that if I'm just driving by them and I could run in real quick and check some of these. So I'll be checking a few traps today, but for the most part, it's a setting day. And I'll try to bring you guys along with me. It's, my hands are full and these boxes aren't light. Getting in the woods and, and stuff to, to set the traps. So I, a lot of times I don't do a lot of filming when I'm doing that. But I'll try to film and I'll walk you through a few of them anyway. I'm gonna make a set. I just hiked in. Uh, pretty good woods here. A little bit of a high ground and I got a, a pond with a buffer around it. Um, it's just like a no-name pond, just a small one, but they're not allowed to cut too close to water and apparently there was enough water so they've been leaving it for a couple gens of, uh, of cutting so I'm gonna make a set right in here with this box We got a grouse carcass for bait, and uh, looks like we got a 120 Bridger, which suck. This is the worst trap on the market. Don't ever buy Bridger conivers for a lot of reasons, but hopefully I don't show you on this one. Been calling out one every four or five of these, but we're gonna set our trigger. Hopefully this trap can sit. I like to keep the safeties on, especially on this trap, till we find out if she'll stay or not. Yep, I think this one's gonna be all right. Nope, <laughs> piece of crap trigger. Duke's like a low end trap, that, um, but I still never had a problem with Duke. if she stays. All right, I think she's gonna stay. So that's a killer Kona bear trap right there. We're gonna take that partridge, really grind it into that box, get it good and stinky so when they stick their head in, they get that smell and they wanna, they wanna go all the way in. And these, these boxes are a little bit uh, shorter in the back than, than the ones I built, so. I'm gonna wire that bait in. It's probably a good idea to wire, to always wire your bait in so that animal, if he somehow gets past it, he's, he's gotta work that bait and around the trap or come back in, so. That trap just went off on its own sitting there. I'd have been halfway to the truck if I didn't wire this in. All right, so our bait's wired into the back of the trap there. The trap just went off on its own, just sitting there. I got a spare trap. We'll try a spare trap. We'll throw that other one in the coal pile. I can, I can file down those triggers a little bit so they don't do that. But let's hope this one works. This one looks like a duke. Like I said, never had any problems with the dukes. Uh, it's like a Taiwan company that, that Bridger, I think, that used the name Bridger probably from old mountain man Jim Bridger. And you would expect something decent, but stay away from them. You guys are going to trap. So, all right, so we're all set there. 
little 120. 120 is basically a 110 with two springs for size if you're not used to it. Alrighty, and that one's set pretty good. We got our partridge in the back, get our trap in, take off our springs. That's pretty good, good and secure there. Got the trap propped up and secured. Trap's pretty good. Good run there. And to, to make sure the box doesn't have a lot of movement when the animal goes in it, you could always throw a, a log or a stick or something on it to stabilize it, make it more sturdy. We'll do that. Before I leave, I double check that my trap's secured. The safeties are off. There's a good run in and the bait secured and the box is good and stable and I'm going to take onyx and throw a dot on there so we're good we're saved in there that should be a pine martin maybe a fisher Not fired. They did nice deer sauce this evening. That is gonna rip. That's the biggest fire we've ever had right here. Light pole, Coast Guard in. Coast Guard? Yeah. Why? Because it's fire. Up here. Yeah. It's probably a no, rule. No, we got a fire ring. That's all that matters. There's the fire. Done. Guys, if you like this video and share the notification, just huge thumbs up. Peace!